if you are a 2020 Samsung QLED owner, you know that we have been on quite the roller coaster ride when it comes to firmware updates. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Tech with KG. So I really want to say that first and foremost, this video is going to be a try at your own risk video. And what it's going to be is my first impressions of firmware 2014.1 for the Samsung QLED TVs of 2020. Now, I say it's going to be my first impressions because I haven't really dove all the way completely in as much as I want to. So expect a sequel to this video. Now, I usually don't do follow up videos for firmware updates, but this one is probably going to need it because I have never seen a firmware update that completely just absolutely changed the core of a TV. Now, you're going to hear a lot of people say that 2014.1, which is the update we're talking about today, will change your entire life for Q90 owners. And it will. For better or for worse, it will. The reason I say this is because this is one of the biggest updates I've ever seen to a TV. I've never seen a TV change completely from a firmware update. The behavior of the TV changes dramatically, and it's not all for the better. To be honest with you, it's pretty scary because I don't know if this is going to be the final update for the Q90T. I can't tell you if there's going to be another update that fixes the issues that 2014.1 puts in place. I honestly can't tell you if this is panel specific and it's only targeted at certain panels and maybe only certain panels will act up from this. So this is the first time that we've had unified firmware for regions. To my knowledge, I don't think we've had a firmware update that kind of was the same across the board for all regions. Usually each region got their own specific update to address some issues. All right, so with all that said, what changed? What was the big changes? I'm gonna get into that right now. So the video clips that are playing in the background will have a text underneath it if it is pre-update. And if it's post-update, it will say post-update. That's as simple as that, and I want you to keep in mind that sometimes these clips might feel like they're a little all over the place, uh, but I will narrate them when they feel necessary, like right now. So I have this fireworks clip right here, and look at it pre-update. I want to say that this footage is set to exaggerate the blooming so that you can notice the blooming completely. And I'm not going to change this throughout even post update for this specific scene. This is a fireworks video that is very challenging for the Q90T. And I would expect some blooming. It's just what it is with the LCD TV, right? But not this much blooming. This is an, a high amount of blooming in game mode on local dimming high. And that is what it's set to. It's set to game mode. Local dimming is set to high. And that's where a lot of people felt there was problems. And you can clearly see it in this video, in this mode, that yeah, there's a lot of blooming. Now I'm going to pause it right here. And then we're going to go ahead and run the update. Now as we're waiting for the update to finish, I want you to keep an eye out on the blooming. All right, so the update is now finished. And look at that. The update has really changed the way the local dimming works on this TV. I didn't do anything. This is a paused image on the YouTube app through the Xbox. And it's just holding the same screen. So the only thing that changed is the local dimming. You can clearly see that there's way less blooming. And to be honest with you, it's barely noticeable. So yeah, that changed a ton. I didn't expect that dramatic of a shift with an update. Usually when I update, I barely see any changes to local dimming. I have to look really close to even notice it. And then I feel like I'm even tricking myself. But there's no trick here. This is a completely huge change to local dimming. 
Now, there's some things about this, though, that I feel might be a little bit suspect. And I say this because if you look at the edges of my screen at times during this video on post update, you'll see that there's a little bit of a subtle glow. And sometimes this is exaggerated on darker games with HUD icons in the corner. Now, so I'm just chiming in. This is me from the future. I'm saying do not update. Like, take this with caution. If you want a better game mode picture, uh, you know, use it at your own risk. But please, I am dealing with some issues that... <laughs> I don't know if I can fix. So please hold off until we figure all this stuff out. And I don't want to ruin your guys' picture quality by telling you to update. So just hold off and listen to what I have to say in the next couple of minutes. I'll explain all the details and all the problems that I'm dealing with. And I'll also detail like any improvements that I've seen with this update. So I'll talk about how movies look on this TV in just a second. But first, let's keep diving into the gaming portion. Now, when I played Sea of Thieves at night next to an A90J, I noticed that it just lacked something. It was something missing. It didn't look great. I saw blooming in the stars after the update. I am absolutely blown away by the way I got this to look next to the A90J. And at times, I got it to sort of match the feeling that the A90J gave me which is incredible. You know, you're never going to be able to match the complete black level of an OLED and the shadow detail that the A90J presents is out of this world. But man, did I get really close. The only setback is it's still an LCD TV. So we're going to get those issues that local dimming has to deal with. And let's get a little bit into movies. Now I've watched two movies on this since we updated and to be honest with you the subtitles we tried that and no issue there the subtitles look good we didn't notice any blooming off the subtitles and then also the black bars i didn't see any light leakage at all and this is brand new to me because there was a little bit of light leakage at times on black bars prior to the update, but post update, I had a hard time finding it. So a little bit of an update since I started playing it a little bit more. Um, I'm recording this a little bit later in the video. So everything that you heard before was like the first day and this is more of like the, the next day. So I experienced um, some really weird things with the sky. It almost felt like the sky was melting on my TV. Like my TV looked like it was melting. And I mean, take a look at the video. The video really can speak to this. And I'm honestly, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And the the best way I can say is I'm going to try a lot of different things in the next couple of days and I'll let you guys know in the community tab if anything changes with it but I'm going to say don't update like if you like the way your Q90T or your Q80T or whatever TV you have that is for this firmware update if you like that TV the way it is right now just leave it the way it is and please turn off auto updates because this update is pretty bad. Honestly, I can't recommend it because of those features um, or those bugs, I guess, is the better way to call it. It's not really a feature if the picture quality is degrading. Um, I don't know. Hopefully things improve. I'm going to try a lot of different things to try to improve. Um, we're going to run a couple factory resets and see if that uh fixes things but let me know your experience if you did update already and if you want my personal recommendation on if you should update or not and i would lean towards the no category for the most part i almost feel like maybe it's something on my end but i've had other people actually say that they're dealing with this as well so 
I don't know how something like this could get through um, testing and how could this go live because it is live now. It's a live firmware for everybody to download and it doesn't seem region specific like their past firmware updates, which makes you kind of question what's going on. Is this why we're having some weird effects on each set because the firmware used to be targeted at a specific region and now it seems like though well, this is a firmware that is supposed to fix all the regions when clearly the regions had their own issues and it's not all the same like i've not dealt with inverse ghosting since the fix in july of last year and everybody else that's in europe and other countries that's not the U.S. and Canada are dealing with a ton of issues like inverse ghosting. And I think just recently they had it fixed or maybe they still don't have it fixed. But the fact that now we're getting a unified firmware update is very weird to me. And so maybe that's why the issues are creeping up. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I can't confirm anything. What do you guys think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Have you experienced any of these issues like that melting screen? I don't know how to call it. It's probably like it. Like I said, it looks like it's melting my screen, but I don't know. It's a moving kind of fog, almost like a cloud that's moving around. It almost looks like DSE, but it's moving and it is so weird. I've never seen it before on my Samsung TV and I've never heard users report this. So tell me, please, uh, have you experienced this before? And is this something new that you're experiencing? I'd love to hear about it because I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to see why it's going on. And I want to make sure that we pressure Samsung into giving us an update that would fix this because if you updated and you were met with something like this and you can't fix it for some reason, and like I said, I'm going to try everything that I can to try to fix this. But if we don't get another firmware updates too, and it's really detrimental to our picture quality, and that's really not cool. So let me know what you guys think. For now, please hold off on the update. I'm, I'm just trying to save you guys some headaches. So I need you guys to trust me when I say this. You're going to hear people talk about how great this update is. You're going to hear people talk about this is the best update that Samsung has ever done for the Q90T for game mode. You're going to hear about people saying, yeah, local dimming finally works in game mode. And I want to caution you guys that a lot of these things, yeah, they're true. But they're, the downsides to this is potentially... TV wrecking and I I say that with caution because this could be something that I can fix with some factory resets though I did one factory reset and I still have issues so I'm gonna look into it some more but please use caution if you got any questions let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching this video please hit the support links if you want to support this channel thank you guys so much for watching this video have a great day and i hope i'll see you in the next one it almost feels like my screen is melting look at that it's so freaking weird dude that is weird